Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Pacify. This is the latest game from Sean Hitchcock, who you may know as the developer of Emily Wants to Play. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, what happens now? She fell through the ceiling, dude. I don't really know what it's about, but it's $5 on Steam, and the download link is in the description if you want to check it out. Hi! We had a little visitor on the menu screen there. Uh, apparently it's multiplayer, but we're gonna be checking out the single player in this video, because I don't have any friends. Okay, this is the place. Find a way in and check the entire house. <laughs> over. Who am I talking to? Oh, FBI surveillance van over here. There's more to do here. Okay. Who am I talking to? Are you in the back? You still need to check the place out. How did you do this parking job? You're on top of the fence that got broken down too? We need to figure out what's going on. How many times can I bother you? Please, go check the place out. No. We need to figure out what's going on. Okay, just started looping. <laughs> I just wanted to see how many different things he could say. Let's go in. Door locked requires main key. You got a package, man. You just gonna leave it out here? All right, fine, we'll go look for the main key. I'm sure it's outside somewhere. Probably under a rock or in the bushes somewhere. Control is jump, and it's the smallest, most pathetic jump I've ever seen. <laughs> you need a mow back here, by the way. Can you imagine how muddy this would be in the rain? Welcome to a John Wolf video. We just say a bunch of shit that doesn't relate to the actual game. Check out this stone wall. Like, what's the point? You can see over it. All right. Looking for this key. Maybe we can just go in the back door. Door locked requires main key, okay? So we haven't, maybe it's in the trash. You wanna see something completely inconsequential that I noticed? Over here, you can just jump over the fence. But not over here. Oh, you better think twice. Uh. Security is a bit lax, I guess. Well, I'm in the basement now. Door locked requires basement key. Okay. November 15th, 1889. I tried to save her, but I failed. I am giving up. I vow to bring Gretchen back, but I fear the girl is lost forever. Love, Volt Luder. Thanks, Volt, for writing this 120 years ago. Got lots of cardboard boxes. Did you just move in? I know you guys had cardboard boxes like this in 1889. What was that? Hello? Uh, I picked up some wood. I wonder if that's used for a puzzle or something. Just in case you wanted to have a nice romantic date in the corner of your dark, damp cellar. You can have one right here. There's even a couch to lounge upon. And a kitchen. Are these possibly the servants' quarters? Door locked requires basement key. Where the heck am I gonna find that? Basement key again. Basement key. Dude, where am I going? Do I go up the stairs here? Oh, what's up? Hi! What's with your walk? Are you good? <laughs> what? Is she coming down here? Hi! Well, th this sucks because this is kind of a dead end back here. Maybe I can juke her. Okay, this is our chance. Come to the left. That's right. <laughs> Okay, okay. I don't know what that was all about. Look at her shuffling after me. <laughs> Is this a new Fortnite dance or something? The shuffle. Looks great. Door requires hall key. You want to tag along? T-posing doll. I'm gonna read this. Well, I guess as soon as we get out of the note, we die. I cannot begin to easily explain what has happened. I've lost my wife to death. <laughs> I've lost her to death. 
an adopted daughter to evil. My daughter has been possessed by a darkness that cannot be controlled. If she is still here, you are in danger. I can only think of one way that may stop her for good. Burn the marked dolls. <laughs> She's actually, she doesn't seem interested in killing me. Where's she going? She's going, hey, don't walk away from me. Hey, I'm talking to you. What? Hey, I'm sorry. You could just push her. <laughs> you could just bully her. <laughs> Get out of my way, shrimp. <laughs> what, you got tape covered in your mouth? Okay, so you're not evil? That note just said you were, though, I assume. Burn the marked dolls. Oh, wait, is this doll marked? Let me take a look. It's not marked. Oh. Well, I picked it up. There's another one out here. Oh, you can only carry one at a time. All right. All right, so other than bullying little girls that have tape over their mouths, uh, what is there to do here? There's another one. Key. Hall key. Okay. Nice. Oh, another note. Oh, wait, matches? What are we doing? She may turn on you in an instant. That's how she killed my wife, Gretchen. Giving her the doll had always worked. I have to keep telling myself that it isn't her anymore. She out there opening doors? She looking for me? She ran away. What happened? Was that her that made that noise? No way, dude. Oh, she, she's faster now. Do you hear her opening the doors? She's getting fast. Okay, hall key, right? Yeah. Okay, well, she's flying around now. Bedroom key. Uh, okay, good. Good thing she's stupid and didn't realize we were in here. Wait, there's a note. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Exodus 24. I think that covers all the bases. So basically, don't make any graven images. This must have been a warning. In the dark text that we studied, shaping an object into the likeness of a living being makes it special. It can immediately hold spirits and perhaps more. Maybe this is why dolls give us comfort or fear. Interesting theory. Something dwells inside them. No one would ever believe such a ridiculous notion. Yeah, because they're just bits of plastic, that's why. Oh. She's going upstairs. What's she looking for? Okay, I got a note to read. Hope she doesn't come in here. I've been locking myself in different parts of the house, trying to think of a way to save her. I have a set of five keys. Each key opens doors in different areas of the house. There's the great hall, bedrooms, basement, attic, and main doors. I left a single key in each area to unlock another. So we gotta get to the bedroom. Okay, I understand. So they're kind of staggered like that. So you go to the bed. What? Someone's just being a smart ass now. Why'd you put that doll in the tub? Oh, she's taking a bath. There's another one. Gretchen and I didn't have any children. A little girl appeared in town one day. No one knew where she came from or who her parents were. I don't like that she can get me while I'm trying to world build. I'm trying to get into the lore, okay? Hang on. To appreciate you more, you understand? She was very quiet and always calm. We took her in and called her Amelia. We gave her a little doll and she loved it. She brought it everywhere with her, always staring at it, smiling, hugging it. We didn't know she could get hurt by the rituals. What rituals? Oh, y'all, we're doing some satanic shit here. Hi! Oh. I gave her a doll. Did that calm her down? Oh, she likes it. Oh, now you've calmed down, huh? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, what you gonna do about it, huh? All right. <laughs> Don't follow me, by the way. Don't follow me. <laughs> I'm doing my own thing. Okay, so burn the marked dolls. Where are the main key? All right, let's go upstairs, because I haven't been up here yet. Look at this atrocious rug. Is she after me? I hear her shuffling. 
All right, what up? This time something bad happened. Let me get this doll just in case. Our daughter reacted violently and rose up. Rise up, gamers. She started knocking over everything in the room. She had unbelievable strength and an evil in her eyes. She killed a client in the chaos. Gretchen gave her the doll, and it brought her back. At some point that night, they, she changed back, and Gretchen was killed trying to soothe her. Well, I guess Gretchen didn't have a doll, huh? No worries, I got a doll. Okay, read another note. After the final farewells, we would transfer the souls back. The transfer did not always go very well. The dead would not be happy, and sometimes the girl acted very strange. Yeah, I, I've witnessed that. If we gave her favorite doll to her, she would recover. I get it. We did not know exactly how it all worked, but we purchased many of these dolls. And apparently she just eats them after she gets them, because every time I use them on her, she disappears. Because every time I use them on her, they disappear right afterwards. Okay, so we're in the attic right now. There's more wood up here. What else is up here? Hopefully like a key or something. Key? What was that? I don't know if I want to open that door anyway. So maybe... Hang on, I'm trying to read a note. After the rituals were complete, we would burn the bodies in the basement. We burned them in the boiler. We would ensure their spirit would pass on to the next realm. So burn dolls in boiler. That's why we have wooden matches. Okay, it's starting to come together. I kind of get it. But I need keys in order to get around. Oh, fuck off. Fine, here. Take it. Yeah, yeah, calm down. It'd be great if you could let me move, too, because I'm kind of... Okay, get out of my way. This map, by the way, it reminds me of, uh, the one I saw in a game called Black Rose. By Sir Bedlam. My wife and I ran the only funeral parlor in town. We were never afraid of the dead. In fact, we were both very interested in it. Maybe that's part of the problem. Just a thought. Handling and preparing dead bodies was a part of our daily life. Can you imagine just writing this in your own home about how you're interested in dead bodies? With no other context. Only using four lines on the entire sheet of paper. The ritual transferred the spirits of the dead and the girl into two dolls. The doll with the girl's spirit would be removed. The other doll would be placed near the girl and the spirit would transfer into her body. The dead could then see and speak through the girl. It was very alarming for the person that just died. I imagine so. But their family would calm them down quickly. Okay, however you want to rationalize it, sure. We finally had success, which now looking back was actually a horrendous finding. We developed a ritual using our adopted daughter, two dolls, and the dead. The dead needed to be fresh, less than three days old. The dolls, the dead body, and a vessel need to be marked a certain way. The vessel, or living human body, need to be pure. Somebody's mad. I'm looking for a key. Where's the key? What? What is so funny? <laughs> you little shits, where are you? They're just over there giggling over nothing. Oh, oh! Attic key. Let's go up. Let's go. Let's go to the attic. Sprinting up here. Now we can open up that giggly door. Oh, she's up here too. She's up here too. Where y'all going? We're free! <laughs> After 10,000 years! Basement key. Oh, oh, it's about to get real. Wait, so like... Oh! This is a marked doll! Oh, let's go! But I had to... I had to put down the other doll. I got a couple achievements there. Eight marked dolls left. Yeah, burn a doll and start a fire are two achievements I got. We'll just, hang on, hang on, I gotta read this. In everything we studied, fire was always an integral component. It can be used like a cleansing agent. It affects living organisms and substances in other realms. It can remove evil, reverse spells, remove souls, dispel effects, or completely destroy. Don't come in here! Man, she's all over this basement. Also, I was out of wood, so I had to pick some up. 
I probably should have left that towards the end, actually. Assuming I want to win. We got some dolls down here. I'm gonna burn you. <laughs> Never thought I'd be saying that sentence. Where's some dolls I can burn? Gotcha. All right, let's go. Let's go put it up. I think she might be really close to me. It's guys. It's really hard to tell. Burn it. Close it. I think we gotta hide out in here. Yeah, she's going around everywhere looking for me. Maybe look in the furnace, dipshit. We gotta calm her down. Picking up a regular doll, okay. Okay, where you at? Oh! You little shit, come here! Look at it run away. Good, good, good. Yeah, did I get it? Oh no. Oh no, they're after me. Oh no. I'm super fast though. I'm super fast! She's faster than me! That's not fair! You lost to the darkness. Oh hey, I got my three keys right here. Let me have those. What? She turned me into a doll. I'm sorry I bullied you earlier. <laughs> no! I had to start all over? Okay, this is the place. Find a way in and check the entire house. <sighs> Fuck no! Why are you sending me in on this suicide mission? Let me back in the van! So still need to check the place out. How come you get to be in the van? I want to be the van guy. Oh! Hi! <laughs> Boom! A boom! That's what you get for turning me into a doll. Very satisfying. No! I kind of deserve that. I kind of, I kind of deserve that. Look at her all smug. Oh, and then she just shuffles away. Damn! I got turned into a doll again. <laughs> All the, even the dolls look smug. <laughs> you gonna draw an eye on my belly like the rest of them? Okay, this is the place. Find a way in and check the entire house. Shut up. You get to stay in the cozy ass van. Well, I gotta do all the dirty work. All right, let's speed run this. Where's the first doll? There it is. <laughs> I actually didn't know it was gonna be there. I was sarcastically saying that I was gonna speed run this because I don't know where anything is still. And I still don't have the basement key, so we can't actually burn any of the dolls. Okay, wait. Let's get out of here. I need to figure out where the keys are so I can go get them immediately. Oh, I think last time I found a key here, didn't I? Oh, matches. So maybe they're in different places each time. Oh. Okay, I think when the clock strikes- Oh, you little shit. I'll get you later. Guess what? There you go. Feel better? Eat a Snickers. Let's get another one. Alright, I'm trying again, guys, but this- This place is super hard to navigate. I feel like I need- a map or something. Maybe I can hand draw one. Wow, do I really care that much? <laughs> Look at these arrogant little shits. You can't catch all of us. <laughs> where are you guys going? I want to see where they go. Oh, you got here, here, here. There you go. There you go. No, no, I was just gonna pick that one up. Where'd it go? Just wait in here. Just wait in here. So we got two of the dolls out of nine. Okay. I think maybe she's not around. 
Okay. There's another one I saw down here. Where is it? No, not there. Oh, she's down here. Sign in here. Sign here. She'll never find us. There he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Pacified. I get it. That's why it's called pacify. Understood. You! Dude, let's get- let's get doll number three in there. How do you- where's the- Here it is, here it is, here it is. I, I'm- I'm slowly figuring out the map, it's just... There we go. Six marked dolls left. Let's freaking do this, man! Get some wood. Should we go up here? Come here! Okay. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. There we go. Why are there more matches? Because... We've still got some. I don't see how we would ever run out. But at least there's still some by the furnace. Okay, we've got- we got four out of nine. I hear you running around up there. Hi, hi, hi. Pacified. Come here. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Okay, more wood. Right, got it. Close the door. Alright, we got five out of nine done. Just got- just got four more. I think if we hide out of sight in here with the door closed, I think we'll be good. Just gonna wait it out. I need to get more wood and more dolls, but there's plenty of dolls. They're just running around up there. Okay, I don't hear her. First of all though, we need a regular doll for protection and we need it fast. Let's go up here. Is there not one here? You little shit! Come here. Ah! Dude, I got over half the dolls by myself. Can you imagine how good we would do with, uh... Three other people in the house? Could beat this co-op no problem. Why are you all laughing at me? You're dolls too! You're fucked for all eternity too! We're all in this together! Don't gotta laugh at me. Alright. I think I'm good for now. It's just... oh man. I wonder what happens after you get all nine. Hmm. If you guys really want to see another video where we get all nine, I'll try my best to get that out for you. But, uh, I think I've got a pretty good handle on the game so far. It's kind of interesting. It's only five bucks, and I think it's worth that price. It's... a bit of a departure from Emily Wants to Play, since there's only one antagonist, and it's kind of more of a... slender type of game. But, I like... Amalia, or whatever her name is. I think she's a cool little ghost girl antagonist. It, it is really off-putting when you first encounter her and she's just very passive. Kind of just shuffles up to you and you can push her and... It, it's like, what what's the plan? What's going on here? If you come in blind, not knowing what the game's about or what any of the rest of the gameplay is like, it kind of puts you on edge a little bit, not knowing what she's going to do. Kind of like that a bit. Subverted my expectations, at least. Because I thought it was... I mean, in 99% of these games, creepy thing walks up to you, you die. But she doesn't do that, at least not right away. I did like the moment where I was pushing her and being a bully, and then she transformed and killed me. That was a, a cool lesson in what not to do, I guess, from now on. But uh, let me know what you guys thought about Pacify. Again, you know, I, th I think it's just one of those games where you get all nine dolls, you get an ending. 
I don't think there's a whole lot more to it than what I'm currently playing. I'm just saying though, if I was doing that well by myself, imagine four players dunking on this girl. All right, well, thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought about Pacify, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Think critically.